Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 138 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Golden. And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is forced to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit better. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. 
big fall from punch lands. Now he gets back to the ring. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Side leg kick. Right on the button. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. And they separate. Lee, what a punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Cable inches right there, boy. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the turnover in that kick. Right hand on point. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it. They are fighting behind it real well. Oh, nice jab. Nice. Big leg kick lands. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Got the single collar tie. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head. Of you cannot take too many of those head kicks. But this guy can play up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Stupid punch. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, big oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big head kick. Big body kick lands. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Big head kick lands. 15 seconds. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got, a, he's got him set up the way he's going. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Man, 
Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, nice hand speed as the counter with the right is good. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Stay busy. You control this. Work. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. What a punch. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a punch advantage like this, DC. Dig deep, dig deep. Three minutes to go in round two. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Superman punch lands. Lee gets hit with a kick. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice shot. Slips. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Massive head kick. Inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Put your hands up high. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice punch lands over the top. Five single collar tie now. Uppercuts and bunches. We don't say that all the time, but that has certainly been a big part of the narrative in this one as he lands yet another combination here in the clinch. He lands another uppercut combination in the clinch. He's doing a really good job of finding his spots. He blocks the shot. Real sneaky body kick. He landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Going orthodox now. Oh, big punch lands. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes on top. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. He's got to be careful. Oh, what an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! That one snuck in. Oh, nice oh, strike. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? 
if your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him twice with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. Big kick land. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Connects with the right. Just out of range with that right hook. And he landed the right hand there. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. <laughs> Throws the right hand there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big head kick lands. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Big kicks. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, a combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, uh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big kick lands. Now connects with a right. That was a thuddy leg kick. Head kick, that's a miss. Nice punch, man. Nice leg kick. Oh, big head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up. Oh, best head kick you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough even be up to Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Just missed with the straight left hand. with the right hand. Straight punch land. Beautiful body kick. Nice counter right hook there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Sneaky head kick.
Nice defense there. Huge block. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 15 seconds remain in the round. Flip his hip into that kick. Oh, that is as big a strike as he's landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, so next round underway here. And you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp. And it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Liver kick. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there. Whoa! Back to the feet. And he caught the kick. Just miss with that right hand. There he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew. He had to find the right time to do it. That was the right time. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that didn't happen very often. Nice strike. Head kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. Body kick is blocked. Don't let him run. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop going. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Good punch, land. Oh! Oh, he pulled and he lands. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Gets up again here, but hurting. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Right hand upstairs. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Lands the right hand. 
powerful leg kick thrown. Lands flush with that right hand. Under a minute now to go in the round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Whoa! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 28 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.